the left, right? To kind of twist. But I need to move this back part, basically like doing this space. You want to bring it behind here, engaging the back hip. Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krijetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys? Welcome back to another 10 Fitmen video. Today I'm gonna share with you five golden tips for your one-handed backhand. Let's go. Alright, tip number one is going to be how we start preparing for that backhand. So, for example, when you're getting ready, right? Usually you have corner grip. So it's about finding that backhand grip and I want you to use the non-dominant hand to kind of rotate that, that backhand, right? And find that grip. So here, I'm going to forehand and then I'm going to use the left, right? To kind of twist. And now the grip, the knuckle here should be on the second bevel. We have bevel number one, the second bevel, right? But there's a twist. The second bevel is like regular continental grip. We cannot hit the back end with this, right? Maybe you can, but it's a little bit tough. We want to think about like, you know, driving the motorcycle. So with this knuckle on the second bevel, I don't feel like I'm driving a motorcycle, right? But I need to move this back part a bit here, right? Then I feel I'm riding a motorcycle, right? So it's like this knuckle is on the second bevel, but it's not hammer, but it's here, right? Now I got it here. So, hop, bam, that's the grip. All right, tip number two. Again, it's about non-dominant arm and the use of it in the first part, right? So, first it's here, but now this tip is about getting that turn, using the left, basically like doing this. Think about up and actually the left arm, in my case, I don't know, bring the racket all the way up here, right? You think about just the left. Up, bam, here. And up and here, right? So together it's going to be up, bam, get it here, bring that leverage, see? This is, make that leverage, and then the elbow is all the way up. Make sure your chin is on the shoulder here, the front shoulder, so you have a nice position here. So we are ready to release that monster back here. Tip number three is going to be about the space, spacing. Because we're doing the one-headed back in here, which means we need more space. We need to hit the ball away from the body. We don't have this arm here, so we to make it close. We want a little bit more space, right? So if I play towards the camera, when that is there, you get here, but you want to adjust so that the ball is going a bit away from you, right? So it's not going to be too close. So, so, so the tip three is to create in the space after you reach that position. So you're searching the ball so that you know it's going to be away from you. Alright, tip number four. This is maybe the crucial tip and for me it's a game changer for one-handed backhand but sometimes I like to unleash, unleash the beast. I just like to smack that backhand, right? And this tip is about this. The next phase after this is getting this racket behind here instead of just like this, right? We want to go and because here it's just inside side fence and then when we swing right before when we create that bracket leg right we want to bring it behind here watch the racket face facing the back fence right so, up and before we continue about execution of the shot, right? So, how we create that 
crazy try on one hander back and you know some of the players like Bavrinka, Gasquet, Feather, Grigor Dimitrov, the young ones also, Musetti, just to name a few. Right? How how are they able to create so much drive? So one point is that of course you have first the leverage, the second one is to have this good racket drop and the racket lag. But now also so important is that how we engage the hip, right? And then also how we separate arms, right? And then continue here. So this tip is about engaging the back hip. So again, unlocking here, getting that hip bam. But at the same time, controlling this left arm to kind of, kind of push it back. It should be more natural, but you still need to be aware of it. So create this kind of stretch of the chest, right? Maintain the balance. Because if you only do the turn, this is what Mobrinka is a bit special, right? He really uses that hip and sometimes he, his left arm still has one of the best back end. He still has one of the best backends, one-handed backends in the world. I would suggest you use that hip here to bring this one back. Finally, I'm gonna give you the bonus tip. As always, this is about the finish of the shot. So I'm gonna talk about top position is there, space, and then after here, right? How we go all the way there, and how at the end we can have a step out while maintaining the best skill. But we're gonna have this rack all the way back. At some point here, you kind of resemble the ego, right? Back. Call it eagle finish. So that was it. Five tips and a bonus. I'm gonna do a very quick recap. I'm gonna try to keep the same sequence. Tip number one: use of the left hand to kind of change the grip, right? Just using the non dominant arm to change. And the grip is index finger knuckle on the bevel number two, with the grip like holding the motorcycle handle, right? The driving motorcycle. Tip number two is about getting this. High leverage, the non dominant arm all the way up, and then getting this nice chin up over the shoulder position. Tip number three, creating the space. This makes sure you have enough space so you can hit the ball away from the hip. Tip number four was about the racket drop here, creating that racket leg, right? Bam. Tip number five is how we engage the hip. And the bonus was about the finish. So from this angle, it's like all the way and step up. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. But even more so, I hope it was useful and that you found some tips that can really help you to get your one-handed back in the next level, make it a weapon. Like some of the pros, you know, that one-hander can be such a big weapon. And I really hope that some of these tips landed with you, and I hope they're really golden. As always, I had a blast sharing this with you, and uh, if you really enjoyed it, smash that like button, share it with your tennis friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can click the notification bell icon to get notified for other videos. You can check out all the other social media platforms. Links down below in the description. Check out our podcast. That's it. Thank you again so much for watching. Hope it was good enough for you. I'll see you soon in our next video.